Hi, this is Chris Smith. Shambles grew on the interweb at, uh, at home at the Shambles Cottage in Chiang Mai, North Thailand. And uh, I'm sat in the garden, and you can probably hear one of the cats. And you might hear the, uh, the, the waterfall and uh, birds. A bit of uh, country delights there, and feel the warmth of the sun. I want to talk about uh, Google and a new way to search with Google on the iPad. And let's have a look at this. Let me um, bring up the apps here. And uh, here's my title slide using something called an app called Big Type. And let me go to the browser and Google. Oh, I'm recording this incidentally using a Display Recorder. Let me just show you that. You can make a note there. I did a search just now for Display Recorder. Um, Unfortunately, it's been pulled from the uh, iTunes store, um, so you can't buy it anymore unless you've uh, jailbroken your iPad. Um, it is a great screen recording app, screencasting app. So here we are in Google, and normally what I can do is I can just go into the box and I can type like that. There we go, and uh, but I won't. I'll delete that. I'll delete all of that. So I can type in the bottom left and the bottom of the screen. You can see there's a little microphone next to the space bar at the bottom of the screen. I could click on there. I won't because if you start to use audio when you're doing a screencast using Display Recorder, it 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 stops the commentary, so you wouldn't hear my commentary. So I won't demonstrate that. But what I do want to demonstrate is uh, is this. If I go back to Google. We're going to go back to Google. Let me just delete all of this from earlier. And uh, if I go to Google here, then in the top right hand side, you can see the little cog. If I touch that cog, touch search settings, and scroll up a little bit, and you can see it says handwrite there. Let me enable handwrite. And where's the save button? There's a save button. Thank you, Google, for confirming that you've saved my preferences. So now you'll notice that actually it's difficult if you if you if you don't keep an open for it. There's a new bar appeared along the bottom of the screen, and there's a question mark there. There's a space bar there, and there's a in the bottom right hand corner. There's a, a, a G which is standing which stands for. Um, right, so if I touch that, then if I write my name anywhere on the screen, Chris, Chris, isn't that magic? And if I press the space bar, and let's go Smith, Smith, oh, too slow, <laughs> I was too slow, it needs a T, and you can type anywhere on the screen. Come on, don't let me down, Google. There we go, Smith. And I'll have to manually go in there and, and uh, touch. Oh, I wonder what it does. I wonder what it does if you type, if you do graphics, as to a smiley face. Does it do emoticons? No, not that clever. <laughs> you can have some fun with that. Take, take care. Bye.